Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to achieve a rig like this. In a few minutes, it's not that long. As you can see, it can move freely. And... It can do the, all the basic, basic animations and all that stuff. And also, I will show you how to rig a tail and animate it easily with the uh, outer rig keys. Also the head. And plus, how to rig the fingers easily like this. Okay, so first uh, we will use Mixamo.com for rig our character. I will uh, put that link down below, uh, or you can open also. This site is really great. Uh, there are tons of characters to use in your projects, and they are fully free, and which is amazing. And there are tons of free animation also: walk, run, grab some stuff, pray, dance. And all that stuff, as you can see, our character is dancing. Okay, so let's upload our character. Select a character file, or you can just drop. But sometimes in my computer, uh, dropping is not working. Where are you, old? Here we go. This process might took a little bit longer, uh, depends on your uh, connection. It might be quicker than my computer because uh, I don't have a good computer. My computer is not that good and also my connection is not the best due to quarantine everyone is in their home and I hope you all are safe in your home so place your dots in the selected area as you can see they put a map to here which one you should put wrist elbows knees and groin I don't know how to pronounce that honestly let's replace them be sure that you place them all right okay now let's click to and as you can see you can select your finger types standard skeleton has everything normal with the fingers four fingers and three chain fingers there is only one in the middle and one in the end two chain is just these stuffs are, I don't know if you are working for something else, I'm not sure, but we are going with standard skeleton. Next. As you can see, it's auto rigging my character. It's not perfect, but um, you can change the way how it rig with um, yourself with weight paint tool. But I think, you know, my models are a bit complicated, their outfit, their uh, hair and all the other stuffs, but it's rigged that perfectly. But the program has some errors with the long hair, but you can simply and easily weight paint that, and that won't be a problem anymore. As you can see, my character is rigged. But with a little, little error. As you can see, I didn't place them right. That's why it didn't detect the finger. I will fix that and I will come back. Hello again, guys. Uh, as you can see, I fixed the problem. It's 
fully rigged all the fingers right now. But if you notice, there is no rig for tail. We will add that later. Our rig is ready. Let's click here to download. Uh, you can also decide uh, the posture of the arms of the character, character arm space, and all that stuff. Let's click to reset. Okay, and let's click to download. Okay, uh, it downloaded here. As you can see, it says typos, and it's a uh, FBX file. You can also uh, uh, export as different file settings, but for Blender, I will use FBX. So let's open our Blender file. Let's close these. As you can see, let's of course delete the cube, file, import, fbx, let's click to desktop and typos, let's open it, as you can see our rig is here, our character is fully rigged. But our job is not complete, so of course, this is the, let's say, basic, basic version of the rig. So let's come here and see we point straight in front, perfect. So let's go to the edit mode. And uh, first, we need to set the arms free. Let's click to this dot and this dot. Click E to ex extrude. Let's take them smaller. And let's go down to the here. Let's click to the feet. Click E to extrude. This four joint uh, will help us to control all arm. So let's go to oh first part. Sorry, let's click them. Alt P, clear parent. Alt P, disconnect bone. So as you can see, these are fully free right now. And let's go down, do the same thing for the feet. Let's click them. Alt P, let's connect bone, Alt P, clear parent. By the way, the way I do might be wrong, but well, uh, it works for me. Click this, and then the, this arm part. Shift I to active one. Let's do the same. For this part so as you can see it controls but it's out of control of course let's click to this and then come to the this panel right here and set the change length to 2 as you can see it controls better but still not perfect, of course. Let's do the same for here. So to avoid the problems like that, your bones might be placed wrong. So to fix that, to fix that let's go to edit mode. Select this joints here. And place them a bit back. And pose mode again. And yeah, it's better, but still, it's not the perfect. Let's do the same for the feet. First, let's click them. Control Shift I. Let's set them to two. Them to two again. 
And right now, when you bend your character, it will go down, but this might be happen or not, it depends on your character rig. If this happens, go to first beam point wall view, go to edit mode, and place your knee bones a little bit forward. Still same problem. This knee is okay, but this part is still needs some help. And yeah, it fully goes down perfectly, but the feet are not staying on the ground. To fix that, let's go back to edit mode, click to this part of the feet first, and then to this. Control P, keep offset. Control P, keep offset. So, if we do that, we can easily. Oh, this didn't work, but as you can see in this feet, it worked. It stays on the ground. Let's fix the problem with this one. Keep offsets. And yeah. As you can see now, it can go down. And it can bend. Fully. But when we, if we go further, it will break. Of course, there is a way to fix that. I will show that too. Let's go to back to edit mode. Let's click to this joints, elbow joints, click E, extrude, let's click them again, control P, clear parent, control P, disconnect bone, but place them this time a little bit further, and pause mode. So basically we need this elbow to follow this all the time, whatever we do, if we, even if we bend like this, it has to go to that way. So to do that, let's click to that first and check there is a name for that, Mixomo Rig Left Arm 001. Of course you can name it to find it easily, let's click, let's click to this again this part where we change the setting to 2 let's call the pole target let's click to that select armature and the bone click that left arm 001 and if you see it's here so like you see no matter where we bend it follows that Let's focus on that point. Let's do the same thing to here again. This time it's right arm 001. Select armature. Right arm 001. When you do that, this might happen. It's also really easy to fix that also. Pull. Let's go down a little bit. Pull angle. And set that to 180. It's fixed. As you can see, it's worked clearly. And let's do the same to the knees. Let's click to that leg armature left up leg 001 let's find it left up leg 001 this is a I don't know why it's happened but it's turned the leg like the other way just like the arm but this time 
just 90 and it goes back to place let's do the same right up leg select armature and as you can see it named everything every single bone easily it happens same let's click to this and change it to 90 and if you see it's it's fully ready not of course fully it's we have the full control but I think oh we we give the wrong uh, leg to this one ah yep we set that to mistakenly I set that to right up leg also it should be left up leg let's fix that left up leg 001 yep it fixed so as you can see it's follow that easily and let's try a scene for example as you can see it bends well but sometimes these parts might be a problem when you because they are standing still but there is a one way to fix that also let's click to that to this control p keep offset let's do the same to this too so what will we this do it's simple if we move our leg that part is also move with us it's not stays there for example, when we make a walk cycle with this, it also follow us. And let's do the same for the. As you can see, it's our rig is almost ready. So if we want this rig to also control the hand, not only the arm, it's simple. Let's click to the hand and uh, that point control sorry edit mode let's click to that that keep offset that way when we move this we can also move hand and arm at the same time it gives us more freedom to work with and if you want let's pass to the hands normally if you don't do, do the way I show you have to bend the fingers one by one but with this way it's very simple okay first let's click to this and this control shift C copy rotation let's click to this let's block the I and Z actually you can only left one depends on which way your model is arms facing as you can see mine is in X that's why I'm only leaving the X world space to local space this too and the, this helps that when you bend this one that copy this you see this part copy the rotation of this let's do the same for this one also as you can see it's fully bent with it I will do all the hands and come back quickly and yes I finished uh, rigging all the fingers with the copy rotation and as you can see when we click all of them and rotate it's bends so the reason why we block the I and Z file normally if if we block them we can do this easily but if we don't block them if we set them free when we do the same the finger is not acting natural 
that's why we are blocking them uh, if you want something weird something a weird character you can keep that them open but for the the thumb moon i'm leaving them uh, be free and i'm only rigging one thumb because if we rig the double it might be hard to con uh, control them yeah the hands are really really simple and we can back to tail so let's go to viewpoint 3 let's click the number pad 3 and come to this viewport so firstly let's click to this part add a single bone and set this so if we want to make better let's come to the uh, wireframe view and place it to this e to extrude as you can see i'm placing them to these parts our tail is ready let's come from here and if you see it's not the set let's select all of them and place them to the inside of the bone okay let's come to the pose mode and test if you see you can't fully control the, the tail like this but there is a simple way to do that if we click to the N and come to the tool part, you can see auto I key. Let's click to that. And if when we do this, it bends the tail, all tail automatically. It's much more simple. And let's go back to the edit mode. And let's don't forget to connect this bone to this bone with Control P, keep offset. The reason that when we bend this main bone, the tail will follow it. So, and now we can pass to the, the weight paint part of this tutorial. Let's select our bone, select the body, object, weight paint. So, as you can see, this main, main bone controls all the tail, but we don't want that. So, to work much more easy, easily, we will go to this panel, select our tail. We will come back to edit mode and select our tail. Yes, and let's select these parts too. Okay, and we can go back to the weight paint mode. And if you, as you can see, these parts are pink or purple. I'm kind of colorblind. And we need to add the paint to there. So firstly, we need to uh, delete the control of that. As you remember, we select our tail. Let's click to this only work with the tail click to N to the brushes we will so choose the subtract and set the strength to the full and do this to the old tail until it gets to the dark blue color yeah it's perfect now this bond and of course the others don't have any control with this part when you select the drawer don't forget to close this because if you don't it will uh, detect other squares as you can see this already don't have any connection with it and now let's go let's select the main bone the head bone here and do the same to only work here come to brushes and to draw and it's full and I can paint I will make my brush hundreds to 
work better. This part might took uh, long, depends on your tail model. Let's do the same to the here. Okay, guys, uh, my rigging, my uh, the weight painting for that part is over. Let me show you how it is look at the final points. When we choose each bone in there, as you can see, it's colored that part. That bone only controlling this area. And now let's open our uh, I key tool again. Let's go to the pose modes. In the tool part, let's open I key. Select the, the head bone and bend. As you can see, it's it's a little bit blocky because I didn't open the the subdivision surface to my model. Let's open that too, because uh, I prefer to rig my model without the subdivision to work faster. Okay, so let's bring the colors to our character to work better. It's, it's a little bit slow. Okay. As you can see, when we add the subdivision surface, it becomes softer. And yeah. This is everything you should know about uh, the basics of the rig. So I think there is nothing that I forgot to teach. So yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching, uh, see you in the next tutorial, bye bye.